they've integrated technology. People are looking at what we're doing by turning a wood shop into a makerspace lab. I honestly love this class. Putting high-end technology in the hands of students at Montgomery Middle School. And they're doing college level work. And it's become the place to be. We're always doing something hands-on, no matter what. This is the animated bird. It waves, it lights up, it makes sound. Me and my friends created a robotic car from SparkFun that coded to dance to the song Tequila. Science teacher Emmy Rogers had been thinking about retirement until the principal approached her two years ago. She asked if I would be interested in taking over our wood shop area. She goes, well, I'll do it if you just let me do my own thing. And she said, absolutely, if you're willing to do the work, you just let me know what you need and we'll make it happen. So our first big step was 3D printing. And not just one printer. They allotted $10,000 to the 3D program. We now are up to nine 3D printers. And Chromebooks were insufficient for the program she wanted students to learn. Again, she said, we'll get you MacBooks for every individual student in the class. They're about 1,200 each, and we have 40 of them. We're already learning code, 3D modeling, communication, collaboration, critical thinking, creativity. Connections to their English and their math and their science classes. And those are the kinds of skills that they're going to need for their future. The Makerspace Lab is part of a district-wide movement to integrate technology. Money from the school's annual budget covered equipment and planning. She has compensated me for my time. A rare practice. Yes, very rare. And at a time when many schools are facing a drop in enrollment. We're anticipating 75 to 80 more sixth graders because they've heard about our program. You know, I always want to be on the forefront and on the cutting edge and do what's right for the students. It just seemed like a no-brainer. We needed to move forward.